Hello, my name is Selma Carvalho and over the week I've been reading through questions that you've posed in response to Atagalata Bookstore's Know Your Author Week uh, relating to my book, Sisterhood of Swans. I'm immensely moved by your questions and I'm going to respond to three of them in order of preference. So the first question comes from Ranjeev Ranjan, who writes, I'm sure there are real people uh, resembling Anna in your novel, what advice would you give them? So, um, as writers, I, uh, I think we hope to touch at least one life. And if we've done that, we've done our job. And of course, there are hundreds, hundreds of Annas out there, young women, struggling with their lives, struggling to find themselves, struggling to cope with the uh, chaos that unfolds in in their 20s and to them uh, I want to say you're not alone and this too will pass. So the second question comes from Moody Lane um, who writes um, after writing non-fiction for so long what are the challenges of writing fiction? Uh, non-fiction is a very disciplined form of writing you go to the research archive you come home uh, and you literally transcribe your notes. Um, so you're bound by facts and evidence. I found fiction to be liberating. Um, I could explore possibility. Um, facts could be obscured. Uh, the challenge, of course, was waiting for the muse to arrive. The, the, the creative thought um, had to arrive within me. Uh, the third question comes from Jagriti, who writes, um, what were your thoughts when choosing the title? The title Sisterhood of Swans uh, refers to the very human need in all of us to find fulfillment within intimate relationships and the hope that they persevere over a long time, if not a lifetime. And um, the second aspect of that sisterhood uh, is the solidarity um, amongst women, the solidarity that women encounter. Um, so thank you once again, and I hope I've revealed myself to some extent. Thank you.